Go ahead and rise into the collective. Y'all know we back with another banger, another reaction. I appreciate everybody who been tapping in, running up, and subbing up. If you're new to the channel, please like, comment, subscribe. Hit that bell so you always notified whenever we drop an upload. Y'all know we coming with about four videos a week, man. And this is for entertainment purposes as well. And when you like and comment and subscribe to the channel, helps collective grow, helps collective get bigger, helps more people who like this type of content tap in with this content. But I ain't gonna hold you, man. Collective. I'll be responding to y'all in the comments. I don't know if some of y'all be kind of shocked because like it comes from a completely different page. Like my music page, it's a different uh, profile picture. I be I, so I be making music, listening to beats, working on little things like that, and I'll forget that I'm on that page. So when I go to start responding to comments or you know showing the comment section love, it's like it'll pop up and I'm on that page. So then some of you guys get confused. But it's just a music page. It's not a new page. It's just, it's always been up. It's been up way longer than this reaction channel. So don't get confused. Same person, same me. Yeah, so if you want to show that page love, show that page love too. If not, that's fine. But I'm just letting y'all know so y'all don't get confused. Because I've seen some of y'all ask me about that, seeing y'all confused. But I ain't going to hold you. Let's get straight to the video, man. Let's go. With what we discovered with fairies and trees, is there anything out there that you guys believe that was fairy tale? Like... Anything, please. I would like to hear what you guys think that isn't fairy tale and is actual fact. Cause <laughs> that still that live stream, that live stream of those little fucking people <laughs> in the tree. It still has me fucked up. <laughs> There's people on here that know about the fae. I'm told that. You should never say, I'm going to eat the fae. I don't know why. I would like some education. What are the fae? What's a fae trap? There's this woman on here that says, hey, that's a fae trap. That's a fae trap. You ever see weed just sitting in the woods? That's a fae trap. What the fuck is a fae? And I'm open. I don't know all. But I would like to know what y'all think. What is fairy tales that you believe is it fairy tales? Please enlighten me because again, my reality has crumbled and I know nothing. I want to know more. Peace to God. They done got my girl, Shikari Richardson. So now she got a stadium named after her and people don't realize that's a part. Turning yourself into an idol where you get these buildings and stadiums and things named after you when you get the Hollywood walk a star, like you're officially coming up in the ranks and that's a part of the process and you're turning yourself into an idol, which is a grave sin against the most high God. You know, um, I love her as an athlete, but I mean, it, this is this is just what it is. This is what these people play with. They, they play with the devil. They're Luciferians. You know what I mean? Like the girl has a dragon tattoo and in her own words, um, the dragon is misunderstood. Yes, yeah, sister girl, you could... Um, you know, talk that stuff to somebody who isn't aware of spiritual warfare and like actually deal with these entities every day. You can speak to them about that. But I deal with I deal with these entities every single day of my life. So you can spew that stuff to somebody else. You know what I mean? But that's part of the process. When you when you moving up and you and all your rituals are up to date. This is up to date. Uh, now, now, now you get the stadium named after you. Okay, now you get the clothing line. Now you get this. Then you got the Shakari Richardson sneaker line. Then you. And the more you with the the more you with the program, the more you come up, the more you with, the more you get, the more you get, the further you get away from the God of Israel, and the more condemned you get. You know what I'm saying? Like, and it's crazy, man. And you know, our people, black America, we the children of Israel. Like, we are God's chosen people, but they just could not be patient. They couldn't be patient, they couldn't wait, they wanted the fame, the status, the celebrity, the notoriety of this world. And I enter under and understand that because I was offered those same things. You know what I'm saying? But for me, I see the big picture. These people stayed in it and you know just decided to go against the most high God. You know, I see the big picture. I'm playing chess. They're playing just checkers for the now. I'm playing for the forever. You know, what I mean? that's what God's real people, the loyal ones are doing we're literally playing for the forever because we know these people time is like done now right so they're, they're living in their moment they're just day by day 
They're literally day by day, you know, and I made a video. I'm like, man, these celebrities, they don't have that much to repent and read. They don't have that much time left to repent from that fake wannabe God, Satan, and his demons. R repent from this system, like repent, renounce all that stuff. Give it all up. Give it all up. They don't have that much time left. You know what I'm saying? So it's sad to see, man. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of times, like even with like Sexy Red and Sukiana, like, man, they, they take they take our people from the hood with nothing and be like, hey, I'll give you a million dollars. All you got to do is just act like a complete H-W-O-R-E and I'll give you a million dollars. And if you come from nothing, like you looking at your family, you looking at this, you, right? So you're not even thinking, you don't even know what that come with all the way, right? And then you sign that deal and then you sold your soul. Then they literally telling you what to do. But selling your soul isn't just about... um they're them telling you what to do when, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's way deeper than that. You know what I'm saying? Selling your soul is literally, you're making a contract with Satan and demons forever. That's more so what it's about. It's a forever, it's a forever contract. You know what I'm saying? So it's sad to see, man, but, you know, people don't got that much time left, man, but that's, that's just come with it. it. It just come with it. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-mm. People don't know. The reality is, is these people don't, I know they don't. They can't. They can't. Because if they experience what I experienced, there's no, there's no way. There, there's, there's no way you would ever choose that side. The most ter you know what's the most terrifying thing on, the, on this earth? And I know because I experienced it, is not having the protection of the most high. That is literally the scary. And I'm not talking about physical. I'm talking about spiritual. <laughs> I'm talking about the most high protecting your soul because your soul is going to believe it or not. Your soul is controlled by somebody. See, with the most high, it's like, OK, your soul, you have the feeling of freedom. Your soul is free. Like right now, I can get up and go do this. And right. So the most high allows us to make mistakes and get it, get it right and make sure that's freedom. But as long as we know that he is our God, he is our father. You know what I'm saying? But when they got control of your soul brother they these people don't know it they the reality is they because because evilness wickedness being a witch this crystals and all of that sounds cool if you're not actually like literally being attacked by the fallen angels and literally dealing with them and seeing them and and like all of that it just it, it seems cool until you until these things actually start messing with you and then it's not cool no more and then you want to and then you want to run back you would you you want to run back to the Most High, and then for some people, a lot of people, it's it's too late. It's too late. That is terrifying. Get it together, Thomas Short. Y'all think he reaching? Yo, I seen a clip of him on Instagram and he don't look like he look in that clip. In that clip right there, he look different. The face looks um something looks off with the face. Way different a way different face. A way different face. I have got some clips with him, so we'll be coming across those. But as far as this clip we just saw by Shakari Richardson, man, that's one of my boy. That was a crush too. I'm telling you, they just be taking all, oh, they be taking all your boys' crushes. That's crazy, bro. But I mean, again, honestly, when he say it's deep, so for me. Every time I got put in a, uh, a weird position, like in the music, it seemed like God always just slid in there and protected me right, like right at the right time. And then I never really like was paying fully attention. At that time, I was thinking, I'm trying to get on. So I wasn't thinking, I was just living. And God would just slide in there and throw some interference in there. And then as I look back at it now, I'd be like, damn, God was looking out for me, bro. I had some protection. Because there was times where, like, if I hadn't have been, if, if an interference, something hadn't happened by chance, then, like, bro, I would have, I would have been messed up somewhere. Y'all would have seen me doing the music. Y'all would have been like, bro, he saw somebody would have been reacting to me. Like, that's crazy. That's crazy.
But the but the weird part about it, and I always think about this, right after I didn't accept certain uh, a certain thing from my previous manager, the opportunities, like I said, slowed down. It slowed down. That ain't by coincidence. But I also want to say, Faye, it's out there. It's out there. Some people say it's not. But like I said, would you walk? If you saw something that could be a fake trap, somebody says a fake trap and you say it's not, would you still walk through it? Would you still interfere with it? Would you say those words they tell you not to say? That's my only question. Why do all witch tips have to be, oh, use this herb for that. Use this herb for that. Why not talk about all of the nature spirits out there that are just ready to fuck shit up? You can go leave an offering for the fae at a tree you know they live at with a name underneath it and give your enemy's name to the fae. I saw somebody else post about river spirits. River spirits are always ready to fuck some shit up. How about if you want somebody to take a good hard look at themselves, you can go get one of those folding compact mirrors, put their name or picture inside it and stick that shit in, in a drawer, bury it in the ground. Shit. Take your enemy's name and bury it in the cemetery. Bury it in the crossroads. Witch tips don't all have to be about herbs. There's a whole lot of other shit that we can talk about. Especially them spirits that like to fuck shit up. The fae, river spirits, they don't play around. They won't teach you this in school. Did you know that each one of your teeth is connected using a meridian to an organ? Guess which teeth are connected to the pineal gland? Your wisdom teeth. Why do they want to pull your wisdom teeth out so bad? What's the big deal with the wisdom teeth? I think people need to do a little more research before they pull out something connected to their pineal gland. I didn't know that one. What you been you for a long time, do you be like, damn, I want to be somebody else? Maybe though. It would be kind of crazy to put my, my, my feet in somebody else's shoes. Mm -hmm. But do you feel like you would still be like create another you? Or you'd be like, damn, I already did that. Like create another trippy red? Yeah. Because you did you and you out, you getting something else. Do you feel like you would create another one or you gonna do some new shit? Well, yeah, I already created Orlando Brown too. Oh. Yeah. So, how that? Is that something to talk about? How that? Use Disney Channel? I be playing characters. Oh, they say y'all favor each other? That's me. Damn. Didn't we do one already? That's crazy. crazy. I said that's crazy. You said it too. You don't need soda. <laughs> I can't uh, see. I, I heard it before, but when I saw the, the picture that they just used at the bottom, you know, the little screen thing at the bottom of the screen and at the top was the same picture. One at the bottom, I looked at the nose, bro. I can't unsee it. Y'all go back and let me know if I'm tripping, but I, I can't unsee it. The nose is damn near identical. But uh, hey. It is what it is. I know somebody gonna say, and I know this is about to piss me off in the comments. Somebody's gonna say, bro, why you got red in your dreads? Trippy Red got red in his dreads. I don't know. Well, we know why he got red in his dreads. For me, red my favorite color, man. And I can't, like, I come from set. And there's certain colors you can't put in your hair, and there's certain colors you can. And just let's just, just say, my people's with uh, this on me. If I put another color, which is a, one of my favorite colors, it's not blue. If it was like another color, if I put some gold in my hair or something, they'd diss on me. They'd get mad at me. It's, 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 I, yeah, it's, it's immature, but I get, I understand, I, I understand and I overstand. From the perspective of somebody on the outside looking in and somebody on the inside looking out. So, but nah, red my favorite color, so don't get it twisted because I know that's coming and it's going to piss me off. And I'm going to be in the comments, I'm going to be trying to respond to just positive only. And I'm going to see that negative and it's going to piss me off. I know it because just somebody's questioning my character when it's like, why, bro? Like, do I give off any of that? Like, really? You got to question it? 
And that, and that is gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna drive me. It's gonna hit my nerves. It's gonna hit my nerves. So that's why I'm saying it like, nah, bro. It don't have nothing to do with that. So don't ever get it twisted. I ride with the people. All a lie. Everything we've been taught in the American education system is all a lie. Yes, Native Americans weren't the original people of this land. We actually took it from black people. We were so good at it that we just wiped out any trace of their language and their culture. Is he reaching? I, I mean, I, I just want to hear him out. I just want to hear him out. Like, I want to I want to see what he says and like, y'all let me know y'all thoughts on that. Like, I just want to hear him out. That wasn't long enough for me to like hear him out. I, I, I really want to know more of what he said. That could have been a sound bite. So we can't. Mankind and history will try to divulge some type of mystery. It's not possible when it's right in front of your face. I'm not shocked. I'm not Now, not this last clip that just passed, but the clip before that, dude with dope, with his glasses is dope that I said. Did y'all know, remember when he brought up Mass Predominance? If any of y'all went to his page, tell me on TikTok if Mass Predominance ain't him. Bro, it sound like him, bro. It sound like he just distorted the voice, bro. Like he changed the voice or something. Bro, they sound, the words that he pronounced sound like him. And when he said Mass Predominance, Bro, he masked with I'm going to say that now. I got to say it right now. But I also wanted to say, I don't know. He, he, ain't, he, he ain't missing with that one. He said to sign a new, I mean, you see the caption, to sign a new treaty. I think that they going, that's, that's why I said we at war with them. And somebody said, how are we at war? Because aliens don't exist. They're demons. Well, what would you call the 1%? Answer me that. What would you call the 1% if aliens are demons? If aliens are demons, what is the 1%? And if you say, it, it, see, it, hey, 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 just answer the question. I just need answers for that one. If aliens ain't real and they demons or fallen angels, what would you call the 1%? Let me know. That's all I'm asking. That's all I'm asking. 
Answer that question for me. And we good. The two sons, part of me want to believe it. Part of me don't. Not not the two sons in general, just that clip. Because, I don't know. That second one didn't. It could have been real. It could have been the second son. It, I don't know, man. That one just didn't look all that real to me. How do you know when demons are around? Let me give you a few more ways. They tempt you. They trick you. They trap you. They taunt you. They taint you. They torment you. They trigger things and they, in the end, can torture you. They certainly touch you. Those are the T's this time. Going down the alphabet, I guess. But uh, let's take temptation. We know what those that can involve. Everything from lust to anger to greed and so forth, they trick you. Oh, the trickster, that's what they call the devil. So many, so many ways that he deceives and, and then drags you in, and that's when he traps you, ensnares you, gets you in a bind, situation that seems to have no exit, it always does, but seems to be hopeless, it never is. Can do many things taunting you, discourage you, that's taunting you. Taunt you with your looks, taunt you with your intelligence, taunt you with uh, friends, what they're thinking, what other people say, miscommunication. Many, many ways in which he harasses you in this way. And that leads to torment. He really can up that game into tormenting you, where it becomes an obsession. And obsessions can really drag towards bad things. And... You know, they trigger a lot of different emotions and a lot of different actions. And in the end, really what he's doing is he's torturing. If we let demons, the devil, and his minions into our lives to too much of an extent, if they infest too, too much in our surroundings, they torture. They drag us to really bad things. And it can be not just emotional, mental, spiritual, but also physical cause everything from allergies to cancer. So what do we do? Don't own it. Don't own that thought that comes to tempt you, to taunt you, to, to torment you. Cast it out. Don't accept it as your own thought. Okay, that's number one. Number two, cast out spirits by their name. Spirit of temptation, spirit of trickery, spirit of entrapment, spirit of taunting, spirit of taint, spirit of torment, spirit of torture. Cast them out every time they come in. Cut it short and don't let those thoughts be your own. Know where they come from. Smart man. I love how you coming off. I've seen the most nastiest video the other day on TikTok. This Capri Sun video. These people open a Capri Sun and pour it on. It's a bunch of nasty stuff. And you know what? I'd be drinking these Capri Suns, not knowing what's inside of it. So you know what, guys? I just got a box of Capri Suns and I'm about to check this out. Those are ants. Those are bugs. Um, Oh, hell no. Hey, spam it up y'all want me to try that. Check this out, y'all. So this guy takes a Nikon P1000X, which is a banned camera, okay? They, they have banned all these cameras now. You can't find them anywhere. He takes it to the sun, and you won't believe what he sees, y'all. Check this out. It gets crazy. Look. Look at all these. Y'all, hold on. He's going to back up. But y'all seen those? Y'all seen those sunspots? Look at this. That sun is active right now, y'all. That sun is active right now. Hold on, he's gonna zoom in. That look crazy. Why does it, that's crazy. But look at all those sunspots, y'all. Wow. And those sunspots are bigger than Earth. Supposedly, they're supposedly bigger than Earth. Look at that. Why, it's so weird. When you zoom in, it looks like a planet, doesn't it? The sun looks just like a planet. That's why people be saying, like, the sun is a portal. It's a portal to another planet. Look at that. 
Why does it? You know, I find it amazing how, you know, we're entering the age of Aquarius now and then we're seeing all these wonderful things in the sky and then all these updates are coming to our phone that's stopping us from seeing certain things and then they're they're banning certain cameras that lets us see like really, really far into the sky, into what's called space. Well, those who understand what space really is know what space really is. But yeah, y'all, I mean, does that look like the face sun to y'all? Does that look like the simulation sun to y'all? Because people are saying the sun is simulated. Now we're seeing what, like, looks like a planet. Like, what do y'all think? Please let us know in the comments, y'all. This video is strictly for entertainment purposes only. I am only raising awareness to interesting situations during these interesting times. Like, comment, and share for more videos like this. Thank you for tuning to my frequency. Let's get this shift. Peace in. I wonder if that was before or after the eclipse. You guys, the veil is really starting to live. Listen to this guy's story. He has been delivering for a certain guy for a few months now. And nothing out of the ordinary has ever happened until this certain day. People are waking up and realizing a lot of these people are not what they look like. The veil is coming down and people are about to see things that they are not ready to see. Listen to this story, y'all. Hey, so today... I experienced something that I've never experienced in my life before. It freaked me out. Thought I was crazy. Still haven't processed it fully. So, as I do every week, twice a week, I make deliveries to the same guy. I've been doing it for seven months. And it's the same guy every time I walk in. He's got a big garage with a couple trucks in it. I walk in, I hand him his parts, we talk for a minute, he wa I walk away, I go on my business. Today, I walked in, and he had his back to me, and he was working on his bench, and he must have heard me coming, I don't know, because I was actually pretty quiet, I thought, but when he turned around, I jumped and kind of grabbed my mouth like that because I didn't know what to think. And he laughed a little bit and he called me jumpy. And, he's, and I was like, yeah, no, I'm just not feeling very good. And I had him as part and I was like, yeah, I said, I gotta go. The reason I reacted that way is because when I looked at him, he was different. He didn't look like the same guy I saw every other time. First thing I saw was he had no color in his eyes. They were completely black. Like black. Like you couldn't even see reflections. It was just a black mass. And for some reason his ears were kind of weird and they had like this little point like that. I don't know what that was. Excuse me. But then I was talking to my friend, and he sent me an article about them saying that a new disorder that's coming out where people are starting to see demon faces in people. And it got me thinking, if they're putting something like that out, could it be a disorder? Or is it God is actually letting people see demons and... They're just trying to make it look like we're crazy. I can't, I still can't process it. I can't. I don't know. And like ever since the eclipse, it's, I find it funny. I, the clouds look different for some reason. Oh, yeah. oh. I don't know what it is yet. I'm going to figure that one out. But that could be just me being dumb. The other thing I saw, like I have perfect vision, so... I don't know what I saw. Um, if, if anybody else has ever seen this, <laughs> please let me know. You see, how is it that when we're children, it's okay to show us movies with television shows that depict dragons and monsters and reptilians and all these crazy creatures that we've never seen before. But when people saying that they're starting to see these things now, now they're labeling, labeling us as crazy. But it's okay to show us these things when we are children. Hmm. Remember, y'all, everything we have been told is a lie, and people are about to get ready to see the truth. The veil is lifting, y'all. All I can say is get ready. Buckle up. This video is strictly for entertainment purposes only. I am only raising awareness to interesting situations during this interesting times. Let me know what you guys think about this video. Like, comment, and share for more videos like this. Thank you for tuning to my frequency. Let's get this shift, y'all.
Peace in. I think why while we getting ready and buckling up, if you see something like that, don't go public with it. Cause we don't know what they doing with the people who can see it first. Let's keep that in mind. We don't know what's happening with those people. So like we need a code word or something. Let us know like, hey yo, I'm seeing something, bro. It ain't cool. Like we gotta yeah, cause I don't think I don't think we should be just out really saying it yet. Cause we don't know what the, we don't yeah, we need to we need to be able to keep it amongst us and not with them. So we gotta figure that part out. Try to gatekeep on me again, Wallow. I'll tell everybody what Birdman did. Gil, you gonna sit there and tell my little brother that mentioning my name is gonna hurt his career when I'm promoting him? What album you put out, Wallow? What album Gil put out? If he had to stay his black in Philadelphia and double down on major figures, maybe he wouldn't have got touched up by the bird name. Cause there is no young man that made their way through that man that didn't get You think Wheezy only got on? Are you kidding me? The kind of that'll leave his brother in jail and then show him no real support when he gets home. If he over his own brother, why wouldn't he f up other people's kids? I don't understand. But I tell you this, Wallow, the next time you open your mouth and my name comes out of it, it better be with only respect. Because I know that you f with and they talk heavy and I pay cash. Jaguar, right, huh? I ain't gonna troll nobody. She on point with that one. Like, I ain't know Wallow had nothing on them. Jaguar, right, seemed like she be saying she got like dirty laundry on everybody. And it's like, damn, why you why you got so much dirty laundry? But hey, some of the stuff she's saying be facts. I know some people got mad because I said I didn't agree with what she said or I called her cap. Like, all I ask is, can you be respectful of my opinion, please? That's all I ask. And if you're going to have your opinion, be an adult and approach me like that. Remove your emotion. Because if you got the emotion, I don't want a conversation with you. If you come off logically and you shouldn't like, yeah, your choice of words is a little bit different. I, I'll be like, okay, cool, let's have a conversation. Why you feel like that? Oh, well, I feel like what I feel like because, and then we could either, like I say, respect each other's differences or find out we agree with each other. Don't get public shamed. There it is. Look at this guy. Oof, got him. Oh, oh got her, dude. Oh, no. <laughs> so, just so you guys know, do not jaywalk in China. You will be shamed. Hey, I, I I swear that social that social credit score, whatever they call it, bro. That's a lot. That's a little bit too much. That's a little bit too much, man. But hey, it is what it is. We in that time frame. They trying to see how much they can control, how much they can put us in one position, how much. That's that's what I get. They trying to play God. They just want control. And and that's, that's what it all boils down to. But like I said, I seen a picture. I seen that picture. And it was like four men with their backs. Like, they bent over. And it was four dudes in a suit. And they playing Monopoly or a game or something on their back. And it was like, all you got to do is stand up and the game's over. That's it. That's it. But it got to be all of us, though. It gotta be all of us. It can't just be, it can't be 10, it can't be 20, it can't be 100. Man, it gotta be all of us. It gotta be all of us, man. But we made it to the end of this. And if you haven't already, please like, comment, subscribe. Hit that bell so you always notified whenever we drop an upload. Y'all know we coming with about four videos a week. And this is for entertainment purposes as well. And when you like and comment and subscribe to the channel, it helps collective grow, helps collective get bigger, helps more people who like this type of content tap in with this content. But I ain't gonna hold you, man. Finish the rest of y'all, y'all smooth seven. And we almost we should, which y'all getting this on Saturday. So I hope y'all good. I hope y'all having a smooth seven. I hope everything great. Peace and love. To everybody, shout out to the collective again. And until I see y'all in the next one, y'all know what it is. We go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just check my count. Check. Sheesh, at the amount. You probably know it.